Go for Nimcrut. I see. Yes. Okay. Thank you. What is it? That was your broker. He was just calling to... to say I love you. Not now, ham brain. Shut up. It's a good song. He was calling to inform me that you have highly appreciated assets. What? <laughs> Damien, can you simplify this one for me, please? As previously discussed on Death and Taxes, under a traditional AB trust plan, trusts for married couples with small estates were historically drafted to require the creation of a marital or survivor's trust and a bypass trust or credit shelter trust at the first settler's death. This drafting approach was appropriate when the objective was to exclude appreciating assets from the survivor's estate at his or her death. But what happens if the first spouse dies, but estate planning documents haven't been updated to reflect the lifetime basic exclusion amount's significant post-tax reform increase of 11.4 million per individual in 2019? Funding highly appreciated assets into a bypass trust may not achieve the intended benefit of saving any estate tax and may cause a lost opportunity for receiving a step up in basis at the second death, which by the way, can also be a step down in basis and we'll cover this in more detail later on Death and Taxes. This is especially true when there's a lengthy time horizon between the first and second death. That said, the use of bypass trusts may still be useful for blended families, creditor protection planning, and other situations, so it should be evaluated when appropriate. Reviewing your estate plan at this time is important. Learn more about these changes by visiting bkd.com slash simplytax.